Hello and welcome to this episode of The Lowdown, brought to you by the Interior Designers Hub. So in The Lowdown, we talk to real interior designers who are actually out there in the world doing their thing, creating wonderful interiors. And we are here to find out exactly what it's really like working in the interior design industry. Today, I am really excited to introduce our guest, Martina Pardo, from a business called A Designer at Heart in London. Hi, Martina. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, Let's dive straight into some of our questions then. So tell us a little bit about your business. Um, So A Designer at Heart is um, quite new. I set up the limited company a couple of months ago. Right. Uh, but uh, it started as a blog a year and a half ago. Okay. And um, uh, at the moment, what we're doing is um, commercial interior design mainly. Um, so, yeah, it started as a blog, as a side hustle, something that I wanted to develop and I had no idea how to do that. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, I uh, at the moment he is an interior design consultant. So now I finally found uh, a way to describe it properly. Um, we do student accommodations all over Europe, in uh, Portugal, the Netherlands, Ireland, and some in England. Um, and those are the projects that are allowing us to, to start. Oh, fantastic. The consultancy, yeah, not just the oh. blog, yeah. So it started for you then as a blog and it's become yeah. this, you know, international business for you. Yes, the thing is I, um, I'm in a particular situation. So usually what happens, I used to hear these stories of people who started with a blog and then they were able to develop it and uh, it would become something else, something more like a business. Yes. This is what I wanted to do, but this is what, did not happen (laughs) in the end Um, because in the meantime I was working as a freelance for uh, other interior design companies because I wanted to to actually do the job and learn how to do it and uh, quickly I got on a senior position I was managing projects by myself and I thought well actually I would like to do it for me and not for other people it was lovely but I really wanted to do it for me um, and I thought the blog would help me, um, mm. but then I don't know. It just um, I didn't have a focus, a niche. I used to work on any kind of interiors, like residential, commercial, hospitality, student accommodations, offices. It was like very broad, so I didn't know what to focus on. Um, so the blog didn't uh, get that much following as I would have liked and uh, one day I decided to go full-time freelancing and try to find clients on my own and uh, and I got very lucky because um, uh, one guy he we had worked together on a project uh, when I was freelancing for other companies then this guy um, uh, moved away from that company he started started to work with a new one so he was a completely new client and uh, he asked me if I wanted to come on board and be their official interior designer great so yeah so basically I went from uh, designing very small things like freelancing on the side and trying to make ends (laughs) come together to immediately having quite a few (laughs) commercial projects so it was like a very quick uh, change oh well well done congratulations thanks you know what's really exciting as well is that I speak to lots of people who think that they have to sort of plan everything out and they have to see kind of the whole journey in front of them and what I say to people sometimes is you just have to take action because it's in taking action that opportunities become that open up you know if you hadn't have been doing that then you wouldn't have been introduced to that man and so the next step wouldn't have opened up for you yes that's so true yeah it's like uh, I don't know it's hard to say when it's time to risk mm-hmm. but I think somehow you know yeah uh, so I don't know I just felt that it was time and I and I did it. I was scared. I I had some backup plans. I always make a plan B, yeah. but I gave me some time 
and uh, it was magic it just worked <laughs> yeah fantastic and I always find as well when people kind of make that leap of faith yeah. kind of this always a safety net there to catch yeah. people you know the next step opens up and if you're determined to do it then you yeah. know it really can work for you so well done that's fantastic so have you always been an interior designer yes I in my work life yes but uh, the process to arrive there was quite long okay um, because uh, I mean, I think I always wanted to do interiors since I was very, very little. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember when I was 12, I, uh, by accident, I happened to go with my parents in an IKEA store. Yeah. And I had never seen anything like that before. I'm from Sicily in the very south of Italy. At the time, there was no IKEA or these like, big stores. Yeah. So um, we were in Poland, I think. So we happened to be there and I saw it and I was like, well, is this a job? Like, do actually, do people yes. make money doing yeah. this? And I said to my mom, if this is a job, I want it to be mine. <laughs> so it's like, it was mad, uh, really nice. Mm. Um, but then when I had to choose um, what university to attend, um, a problem arose. Uh, because in uh, in my city in Catania, where I'm from, there are no architectural um, faculties. There was one that's called uh, Building Engineering slash Architecture, and they were selling it as a mix of the two things. Mm-hmm. And uh, my parents didn't want me to move out of Sicily, so I thought, well, okay, I could do that. Yes. It's a bit more technical, but it's both of them. It ended up being mainly engineering. So uh, at the end, I graduated as a building engineer. Right. And so this is what I started with. Okay. But I never worked as an engineer. And how did you get from that into interior design? That's because the very last year of university, after five years there, I uh, had great marks. I graduated with honors, but I was really depressed. Mm-hmm. And it was weird because, uh, I mean, if you're depressed, then you don't produce. But somehow it, it was working, but I wasn't happy. Yeah. So I had to go through uh, a year of therapy just to go out of that. And I understood that, okay, there is a part of me that's a bit of an, an engineer. I have a little engineer inside me. Yes. But there is a creative side that I wasn't using at all. And uh, it had to go out. I had to fulfill that other part of me. And uh, so I don't know. I looked back and I was like, well, actually, my initial idea was interiors. Mm -hmm. So then I finally uh, moved to Milan and I attended a master in interior design at the Polytechnico University. And, uh, And that was amazing. There, I was like, okay, this is my uh, place. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, Martina, I can, I can so relate to that. That yeah. um, when there's something inside of you that you really, you know, you know, you're on the wrong path in life, and you know, you're not doing the thing that you should be doing, the thing that you yeah. were born to do, and it, it kind of eats away at you. And like you say, it can make you depressed. It can make yeah. you unwell. It's, um, you know, you need to exactly as you said, fulfill, and you know, you need to bring to life that creativity that's inside yeah. you um so i i can totally relate to that my journey's been um, very so fantastic yeah it's not easy to talk about these things but i thought well maybe other people can relate it's just uh, it happens but it was useful in a in a way because um i had to go through that and it worked yeah, and it's, it's been part of your journey to get you Yeah, ready. yeah. Brilliant. So what advice would you give to somebody who's considering perhaps changing to a career in interior design? A, um, someone who has already studied or... Um... I think, well, I mean, either. I think probably somebody who hasn't yet studied. So they're doing something completely different. But like we've just been talking about, maybe they've got sort of a a desire inside them to do something creative and that they love interiors. What what would you say to them? Um, Well, it depends how quickly they want to get there and um, what sort of interior designers they want to be. Because it's very wide. I took the longest path I could ever <laughs> take to arrive there, but obviously my technical background now allows me to work on uh, commercial projects, mm-hmm. like big projects, where I have to deal with engineers and architects mm-hmm. all the time and we speak the same language. So I guess if someone wants to do something at that level, like 
even the technical bit, then okay, you need to go through study, maybe interior architecture, and learn the technical bit. Uh, but you can do interiors in, in many other ways, like um, there is a styling, there's decoration. Interior design for residential, it's uh, uh, more uh, uh, approachable if uh, you don't have a degree or if you have a, um, I don't know, a, if you attended a course, for example, a one year course yes. that would allow you to, to do that. Yes. Uh, I've seen people getting into interior design even without a course because they just had had it inside them because you know, at the end of the day you just have to um, you need a very good eye for detail and uh, you, you need to have this, this urge that you want to make it happen. Some, I, when I um, work with clients I, um, I see that sometimes they can't really visualize a space Part of my job is just, uh, it's not getting the idea, is just how do I make them see it before it's done, the way I see it. Yes. If they are, uh, they have it, they see a space, it means they are the right people to, to do this job. Yes. So, um, I, I don't know, I would say maybe start a blog, um, start doing on the side. And um, yeah, I think the more people see what you do, the more it comes back somehow. So um, start doing things, attend the course, read blogs. Now it's like uh, everyone shares. So it's really easy to, um, to get a feel of how it is to work on something, to do a job because people share all the way. So um, yeah, really just be open, nice. start surrounding yourself yes. with interior things everywhere. Then you will find, you will be, attracted by something and uh, it will happen that is fantastic yeah. advice and it's, it's exactly the sort of thing that i say to my members as well is to to just get out there and do it because there's no good sitting there and just thinking yeah. and thoughts going round and round and round in your head you need to just take action and like you say it can be something like starting a blog you yeah. can even contact you know a stylist or an interior designer and ask to go out just an instagram page not necessarily a website but just Start with something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And when you start to involve yourself in something, then before you know it, you start to make connections with people and opportunities start to, to come towards you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, also, for example, I said that my blog didn't bring me uh, yet that much following I would have hoped. Yeah. But on the other hand, it gave me an amazing network of people. Mm -hmm. Like through the blog, I met so many like-minded people that mm -hmm. that was like priceless. And it was actually really useful even mm -hmm. then when I had to deal with the clients and everything, because it's like you share advice, you discover what other people do. So um, I don't know if you have something just to say you are doing something. It helps you even with the networking because when people meet you, they ask you what, what you do. Yeah. If you're doing something, even just managing an Instagram page on interiors, it's yeah. something you can start to say. So it, it's a start. It helps. Fantastic. So it's about taking that first step and just yeah. doing something to move yourself in the right direction towards where you want to be. Fantastic. So um, you've spoken a little bit about your business and about starting it up and about kind of how that happened. And it sounds as though it was quite scary for you going from you know, being employed to suddenly ah, running your own business. So what, what's kind of the one thing that you wish that you'd known about setting up an interior design business? What do you wish somebody had told you? I don't know, that's a tricky question because I, I am discovering so many things daily that, uh, I mean, I wish I had, done, I had known all of them <laughs> before, uh, but on the other hand, it's working. So, um, I don't know, it's just uh, the right advice would be to, um, be ready to um, have challenges constantly. Mm -hmm. uh, but as you said, it's scary, but it's also really exciting. So as long as they are balanced, <laughs> or the excitement is more than uh, the scary part, yeah. then it's fine. I don't think that's something I, I uh, that would have changed everything if I had known it before. Yeah, to be honest, there's um, I just learned along the way. Yeah, so I needed to 
some to um, discover something I hired an accountant I consulted a solicitor I um, asked other people in Facebook groups that were doing this thing I'm joining a lot of Facebook groups yes um, so just ask if you don't know something ask yeah, fantastic. And there's a whole wealth of people out there yeah. who are ready to help you. And as you say, once you're in it, you start to build a network of people um, and they can help you, you know, with the bits that you get stuck with. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Um, so just to wrap up then, can you tell me what is the best bit about your business? What do you love about what you do? Well, the best is just the interiors it themselves is uh, I think is the the best job one could do because you um, you have a you have a vision on, or you take someone else's vision and you have to make it a reality and uh, I don't know it's really really exciting and the idea that when you draw something and it feels like playing because you're just drawing then you know that it will actually affect the daily life of people yeah. it's really really exciting and on top of that as we said the network that's priceless is the um, I, I don't know i used to feel very lonely when i was doing engineering because i felt that way and no one around me was it understand it because they were happy doing engineering right mm. yes. so now i'm surrounded by people who are exactly like me and uh, yeah that makes me happy <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, there's something about when you find your passion and you're actually living your life on purpose about, you know, just your general well-being and how happy you feel. Um, you know, there's nothing like it, is there? And as you say, it's, you know, it's scary, but at the same time, it's also incredibly exciting. Yes. Um, and doing something creative is really fulfilling as well. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Martina, thank you so much for joining us thank at you. Houston, the Interior Designers Club. It has been fantastic um, finding out about your business, a designer at heart. And if anybody's interested in getting in touch, where can they get in touch with you? Uh, yeah, thank you, of course. Now we are up and running and uh, happy to help. Okay, so um, they can get in touch with you through your website? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, through the awesome. website today or they can contact me on uh, Instagram just DM me and uh, I usually reply within a day fantastic and I'll drop the links in um, beneath this video so that people can thank get you. in touch with you if they'd like thank to um, okay well thank you very much Martina that's been fantastic thank and you. to our viewers thank you so much for watching this today remember if you want to become an interior designer just like Martina we offer UK accredited qualifications at the interior designers hub we have our own school and you can go and check out our qualifications over at thehomedesignschool.com or if you're already qualified and you're interested in joining a community of interior designers who can help you to set up and grow your own successful and profitable business then come and join our monthly membership at the interior designers hub.co.uk thanks very much um, martina once again um, and we'll see you all in the next video take care